very much. Um, so our heritage, our stories is based on a highly interdisciplinary partnership. It's led by the University of Glasgow, where we have researchers in digital humanities, information studies and language and linguistics. Uh, the National Archives, which is our main IRO partner, and the University of Manchester, who are providing uh, research excellence in computer science, specifically AI and text mining, and history through the Rylands Institute. We also have um, five partners, uh, seven collaborating organizations, which are highly geographically dispersed uh, across the country, uh, which is of course very fitting as the content in scope for our project. Uh, community generated digital content is uh, really a true national collection. Uh, community generated digital content is distributed throughout communities, localities, and national organizations. Um, in the past 20 years or so, communities have adopted digital technologies to gather and to record their collections and to develop citizen history, um, which I think is a sort of truly democratic and vast reservoir of new knowledge um, about the past and uh, the present. Um, the Content in scope includes a lot of voices that are often absent from national institutional collections. Um, they've been curated and developed by communities who are sometimes excluded from uh, formal uh, stories about the past. Um, and it uh, also is a body of material that represents a vast public investment. Uh, millions of pounds have actually already gone into supporting uh, community collecting and community digital collections. Um, the collections in scope for our project are uh, very varied and rich, both in content, but also in format. Uh, they incorporate text, image, moving image, audio and multimedia. Um, but they're very hard to reach. They're hard to link uh, to other elements of the national collection, and they're currently very difficult to search. Um, and because they are quite often the responsibility of multiple organizations, um, it's been difficult to, uh, to bring them together in any kind of cohesive way. They're also very endangered from a digital preservation perspective. Uh, they are essentially born fragile um, and at risk of being lost. Um, so our approach is to develop some radical new approaches to open link and share community generated digital content to the public and researchers, uh, harnessing research and innovation approaches to make community generated digital content more discoverable and accessible while at the same time uh, respecting and embracing its multilingual and multicultural uh, diversity and complexity. Um, so to do this, our plan is to build um, with TNA, a public facing community generated digital content observatory where users will be able to access, reuse and remix these collections and to build an AI driven pipeline that will harvest and discover and find uh, this material in the wild, as it were. Um, the aim is to be able to expose this content um, so that it can be linked and shared semantically via knowledge graphs and by building new tools. Um, and it will also include work on language and dialect um, to deal with that complexity and richness of the content and metadata uh, situating that material in the time and space. We have um, a large program of public engagement planned. Uh, we'll be involving a lot of stakeholders that have created and are using community generated content, including community facing organizations and groups in a highly participatory way. Another aim is to build research capacity, um, which will enable further research using this material to tell new stories and create new narratives about the documentary and material culture in scope. Our aim is to engender and link new histories, which can really challenge those top down narratives about the past and enable the generation of new research questions through the discovery and use 
of community generated digital history. Uh, this is something that I hope will be important for contested histories and also place based narratives around the past. Um, so essentially, we'll be looking at ways to integrate this vast body of hybrid and complex CGDC while retaining the meanings and purposes that make it important and significant um, to make it available to the public and the research community via human data interfaces for research and analysis. Um, to sustain and manage uh, hybrid and complex community generated content at scale um, and essentially make it part of an inclusive national collection. Um, you have had a list of our partners. Um, we have a, a raft of uh, uh, cultural heritage institutions uh, bringing in the whole, all of the home nations, as Rebecca said, and the regions. Um, I think it's just worth flagging that Tate will be working with us on integrating the findings um, from their Creative Archives project. The Endangered Material Knowledge Project with us uh, will be working with us on integrating their post-custodial approaches to community heritage. National Library of Wales, National Library of Scotland, Manchester's Archives Plus and Prony in Northern Ireland will be helping us to identify community collections and scope, including multilingual collections. And we're also partnering with the Digital Preservation Coalition on uh, um, understanding how fragile this material is. The National Lottery Heritage Fund, which has funded a lot of this material, uh, the Association for Learning Technology to share community digital skills, as well as Wikimedia on uh, developing authority data and linking and sharing content um, in that way, as well as three dictionaries of uh, dialect and regional language, which will help us develop a methodology for working with multilingual content. Um, Underpinning this is an outward focus on um, archives and heritage organisations around the country, which will draw in through a flexible and responsive community fund, um, which will enable communities to be involved in prototyping, data modelling and participation around designing our interfaces. Um, so that is the, uh, the essential component of our project to make sure this is truly participatory and, uh, and representative of the, um, the national collection. Thanks. <laughs>